Alright, this is Wolf for Tessin of Kekun versus UFO. Kekun's uh, a really good link player, and I have not really seen much of UFO, so this will be interesting. Um, Kekun is doing, he's actually doing the Wiimote and the Nunchuck because his arm so far to be broken, which is pretty interesting. So that, that's definitely going to like hurt his uh, movement game, but his game knowledge is really good. And uh, it's really impressive to see how he uses Link to his, the fullest. Like You don't really see that many good Links, and his is just fantastic. So it's pretty even, uh, especially with the bomb hitting him. Uh, dead even, honestly, but Kaken definitely has like the center. He's definitely controlling the match a lot more. And just as I say that, UFO gets a really good approach and uh, punish on Link. Because Link has a lot of openings, I feel. And she is just, you know, top tier and has so many good punishes and good, and so many good options that makes it really hard for other players to realize where she's going. But the up smash last tick. Okay. Okay. So Link getting that extra percent before he dies. It was a really, it was really close. But uh, Keiko just got that uh, kind of lucky stock because she kind of ran into his up smash, and he's just making good use of it, just taking that momentum and bringing and uh, just moving it forward. A really risky down air by Sheik and bouncing fish the wrong way. I guess it was to get rid of the hurricane we were in. But um, good, good dash attacks. Good pressure off stage. He just needs to really convert this to a kill, and Sheik has some issues sometimes getting that kill. And man, that forward smash is just so strong, I think. You're gonna have to, have to like think of it because like very few people kind of get used to uh, or get the link experience. And Kekun is a, such a strong link because he's such a smart player just outside of the game. Like he reads the reactions and he can see what you're doing, and he plays his top fairly regularly. I think he's rated, he's definitely top ten. I think top five even. What a beautiful fair by Sheik to close it out. The only thing is that took her about 130%, and she's at 96. So she's got to definitely be pretty careful right here. And uh, Kekun definitely knows that he he has the momentum, and he's getting a lot of pressure on. But a fast 25% for 14, so... Um, I really like how creative uh, Kekun is with the boomerang and the bombs. They're really creating a lot of pressure just like throughout. And uh, good trade. Um, honestly, Sheik is probably fine trading at this point. As long as it's not like a, for, like a smash or a port uh, tilt. Or that. Like, yeah, because there we go. Because if she's trading but surviving, that helps her out because she's already at a death percent. And he was not. But KQ takes game one fairly convincingly after a really even start. So it'll be interesting to see how game two goes, because KQ definitely has momentum. And I really want to know what kind of, what stage um UFO's gonna pick. And he switches the Sea Falcon. I'm thinking it's because of the hard time he had to punish and kill Sheik I uh, uh UFO I uh, sorry uh Kekun as Link. Because there were times where he definitely read Kekun well and punished him, but she just doesn't have that early kill potential. But uh, Kekun is like with a grab. Wow, that was a really good read. And uh, great follow up from that lack of tech. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Kekun is like, he's such a smart player. And he just definitely noticed, as soon as he notices that small mistake, he just punishes you so hard. And uh, so far, that kind of thought can change, kind of looking a little rough. He might not be practiced on it, which is always the risk you take when you switch characters mid-match. Because you might have been warming up with, like, for example, Yuvo could have been warming up with Sheik the whole time, and now he's playing Sea Falcon, which is a different playstyle. And um, it's definitely getting rough, and it is amazing how much pressure Keiko just puts on his opponents. Like, either the boomerang's coming at them, and then the bomb's in the air so they can't escape high sometimes, and then he's also either running in, or running to where the weak spot is. So, like, he covers so many options just at one time, and beautiful bomb right there to get out of the grab, like, that's what I'm talking about, though. There's just so much going on from one character, and it's just really fun to watch Keiko play this thing. 
But Yuvo giving some good punishes right now. You know, he's juggling him, keeping him in the air. And, uh, like, he can see, he's in that one opening. But beautiful dodge on that grab. And Yuvo really pushing the forward smash, almost getting the kill, but it's not enough. Great DI. Oh, barely out. So, after that really kind of rough start, Z-Bulk is only down that 32%, which honestly can be solved in a couple combos. Like, this is definitely, like, far from over. As you can see, look at that, it's only 60% difference. After it was a stock, and it looked like k was just that no, like, at such a low percent the whole time. But, uh, UFO, I mean, he's starting to kind of understand that zone control game is going on. And, uh, but those leak portals are so strong. And, uh, I'm back. And, uh, summer heat. Present. I'll throw you in. Okay, wow. Uh, what game is this? It was game uh, two. Right. So, yeah, KQ was, like, leading fairly hard and was doing well, but then Kev Falcon closed out the stock really easily and quickly without taking percent. Oh, but, uh, wow. okay. okay. Yeah, Falcon yeah. makes it. That was close. Yeah, that was. Almost got stage blocked in. Look at that. Even percent after Kingdom had such a huge lead. Oh, yeah. We don't tech those here. Oh, yeah. No. no nope. Not in no tech, not in singles. No tech for us. I really like a creative. Oh, pieces, and though. the dash attack. And then, yeah, what I was saying earlier is that it just feels like whenever Kingdom sees that slight error, he just punishes you so hard. Oh, yeah. And like that dash attack with Link, or even just the forward tilt, just hits so far back. Yeah, he steals to kill. Yeah. That